have a different, I have a similar theory, and, and it's borne out when you look at the studies and when you, when you read books like, uh, it's a book that came out a long time ago about she owned, owned property as well, meaning white women owned slaves as well. Um, I, I think that women, white women in particular, want to protect the patriarchy here because it's to their benefit. Yeah. They want to make sure that their husbands do well. They want to make sure that their sons do well. They want to make sure that their children do well. And they want to make sure that they do well. Most of the women <gasps> in some of these studies are married white women, and they do fall in line with what their husbands are doing, what their, how what their husbands are voting. But do you attribute the voting. continued Cuomo support among women, female voters or mm -hmm. Bill Clinton support? I think, I think the part of that, oh, thank you, that's nice. <laughs> I have um, a fee for think, one. I, I think, I think part, part of that is, is to Joy's position. They think that those, uh, that the policies of, let's say, a Clinton is going to, yes. is, is in line with their policies. I think with white female Republicans, you have a Republican party that is taking away your health right to decide for but yourself. An, you have all of these there's things There's an actual that are quote in this article, one of the women. people interviewed, who says, I think Trump's an idiot, I hate him as a person, <laughs> Jeez. but I'm concerned about the economy, I can barely afford to live, I went to college, us. I have yeah, a degree. No, but I, actually, my family is, are these people where if your 401k went down by 25% when Biden came into office, it, Money sometimes comes first. She will, fairly or unfairly, be the most scrutinized vice president in history because she's running with the oldest vice or the oldest president running for president. And in she's history. also a black woman. But I think you have to be able to fairly critique the vice president of the United States mm -hmm. without just saying it's the color of their skin or the fact she's a woman. But it, but it is part of it. Why, what makes you say that? Well, we're in the United States of America. But like, with, like someone like me saying it, do you, you think I could have a legitimate policy? Of no, you, 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 it's, not it's, you. It's, 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 it's not you. It's just we're in the United States of America, and, and, and black women, and this is just not me saying it. I mean, there have been studies. Black women are considered less articulate. Uh, they are considered uglier. They are considered all of these She's things beautiful, I by people. Yeah. By, by, <laughs> you know, this country. And it's because of the history, of course, of misogyny and sexism. But it's also sexism. just women. I mean, uh, Jer Jerry Ferraro, yeah. back in the day, ran for vice president, and they went but, after her, too. And, and, and that's the, mis yeah. the misogyny part, but when you mix fact, the misogyny Barbara Bush and the racism, name. I'm sorry. It's, extra, right. it's a little extra. Just get rid of... Um, you know, bump stocks, get rid of these weapons of war, and it's not going to happen with Republicans in power. So I'm now with you, Joy. Uh -huh. Get rid of Republicans. Get rid of the party. Um, the party as it stands now, because it's the party of white supremacy. It's the party of insurrectionists. It's the party of... of uh, Massacres at this point. It's the party that you just it, you can't trust. Well, can I just, well, I think though we can mourn the queen and not the empire. Yeah. Because sure. if you really think about what the monarchy um, was built on, it was built on the backs of black and brown people. She wore a crown with pillaged stones from India and Africa, and now what you're seeing, at least in the black communities that I'm a part of. Um, they want reparations. And right now, Charles now is in a position, he's, I think, has 14 colonies that he is now head of state, including Australia and Canada, I believe, if yeah. I'm correct. It's time for him to modernize this monarchy. And it's time for him to provide reparations to all of those colonies. And I also think, you know, a monarchy, it's very easy to uplift one family. The harder thing is to uplift all families. And I think that he's in a position to be able to do that. Uh, the, the United States was built on the backs of black and brown And people. we want our reparations. And, you know...